Welcome to TechEd LLC. We're located at uh, techedlearning.com. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the three-piece puzzle, which is uh, one of my favorite units that I do with the students in my classroom. I, I run it at a seventh grade level, but it's uh, suitable from seventh uh, all the way up through high school. Uh, what your students would first do is go to the student corner of the web page. There they'll find a a bunch of different things they can click on. It, it would be advised that they run through a uh, SketchUp program first. This is an introduction to SketchUp. It goes through, uh, you know, the, the basics of it. Uh, once they run through that, and then they can get into the three-piece puzzle. Uh, before they go into the shop, you might want to take a look at the safety first as well. There's some safety lessons there on uh, using the machine safely. So they click on the uh, the image there, and that'll bring them to the section of the puzzle. Uh, the first thing you'll find is uh, just a little overview of it. Uh, it goes over CAD. We'll be using SketchUp to draw everything. There's math, the tools and machines, woodworking, graphic design, technical writing at the end, and it does get into Common Core at the very end of it. Uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. The first thing you'd want to do is download the dimensions here and have a one of these sheets for the students to look at as they're drawing because it'll it'll help them read. Uh, the drawings and the uh, dimensions that are on there. As they play these videos here, you'll find that there's step-by-step um, -step instructions. Um, these videos are very clear and detailed, so it's very easy on the instructor. I'll, I tried teaching CAD without um, without the uh, the videos before, and it was it was pretty tough. But uh, with the videos, the students can pause at any time; they can rewind. Uh, and it really does a nice job. These the kids get done. My seventh graders draw these in no time with hardly any questions because they know that they can just pause and rewind and repeat as they need to. And as I said, they're very clear. It tells you exactly what to type in. Uh, so it's it's pretty easy for the kids. Uh, so this one goes over making the, the three pieces. Uh, this one goes over putting them together. You'll find that there's, I think there's 14 videos in total that go over the different steps in the shop using a ruler, the square, uh, the machines, um, and whatnot. So they can go through the different pages here. You can see that there's a, as I said, there's just a whole bunch of videos on there. So let me go skip right through to the last page. This is page four. Uh, this one goes through how to put it together once they're done. You'll see that the students can put them together. And then this one here is what I was talking to you about, the Common Core. With SketchUp, you can create uh, illustrations, like directions. And what this does is it has the students create a card or a direction booklet. And it'll have a picture of this, the three-piece puzzle on the front. On the inside, there'll be a picture of their drawings that they made with their dimensions on it. And that's how you can grade it pretty easily, because they'll be submitting you, you this card. Then on the other page on the inside goes over the steps on how to put it together. So there's there's three major steps. And what the students have to do is, in SketchUp, with the two pieces, uh, show how they are lined up and how they slide together. Take a snippet of it and take that illustration and put it into the book. Then on the side of it, they have to write directions uh, in their words, like a short paragraph, sentence, whatever. Uh, so this goes over, you know, they're reading the writing of um, the Common Core and on the back side of that pamphlet there will be a section for the students to express their experience with the puzzle with SketchUp. So they have to write uh, a paragraph or two on you know what they liked or disliked about the, uh, the project in general so uh, it really does a nice job going over you know the computers in the shop and everything like that. So give us a a look, we're at techedlearning.com. This is TechEd LC. Thanks for watching.